G'day YouTube, now Yugi here again with another video this week. Uh, this week I've decided to focus more on indie games. So I've went out and I've got Warp by Trapdoor Incorporated. And I have to say, it's a really fun game. Uh, Warp is, funny enough, described as a stealth, strategic platformer or action game. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, it's very, very sneaky sneaky. You have to play very, very sneaky sneaky. One thing you'll notice straight off from the start, it's a console port, and usually I'm okay with console ports if they've done well, but in this case, not so much. So it's it's like a bland of it's a console port, and then you still got to use the mouse to hit OK. So it's it's kind of like a up yours, really. That's how I feel. It's more like an up yours to people that buy it on PC. But I'm just gonna jump straight back into the game. As I said, very fun game. It's it's a, sort of like a top bird's eye view type game. You're going to be sneaking around very much. So you'll probably see that I won't be using the mouse at all. There's no cursor. And um, you can tell it's, it, it plays a lot better on a console than it would on PC. Because I have to use the arrow keys to move around. And it makes it very hard to move diagonally. But the, the premise of the game is that you are a little... Ooh, hello. Uh, you're a little alien. Alien. Um, trying to escape from a, a military base and you have the ability to warp there we go found my warp button so you have the ability to warp so I can warp to um, objects or through walls so I can just go bloop, and there you go you know, bloop, 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 bloop. and you have infinite warp so you can just warp as many times as you want you can't warp outside the level because that wouldn't make much sense but you can warp pretty much inside of things through walls and it's just like, it's a puzzle game. It's a really fun puzzle game. It's got some humor in it. Um, there's no, there's, there is combat, but it's not focused on combat. And most of the time you're going to be stealthing. So that's where the, the stealth strategic play comes into it. Because you cannot face um, humans, human military types um, in groups. You have to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. You have to take them out. But you're probably wondering, why is there so much blood on the floor? Well, I've been through this area um before in my game and um, I'll show you later on why there's so much blood. I'll just say this, for a cute little alien, uh, he is um, he is merciless in um, destroying his enemies, so to speak. But um, I'm not sure, I think I'm going this way. I got a checkpoint, there it is, so I'll be going in here. So usually, oh hello, I don't know what the hell that was about. They're up to something. Well there you go. That explains a lot, doesn't it? I'll go bloop in here. Um, you can you could destroy stuff by well, in my case, jittering the arrow keys. But on the console, I'll probably be the control stick. But um, that works on uh, miscellaneous items and your enemies as well. As you can see here, there's a turret, so I'm not going to go in there. Yeah, bloop. <laughs> it's just fun warping around. Bloop. Ooh, cutscene. Oh wow, look at the model on the character. Oh shit! What? <laughs> what? Okay, uh, try again. Oh wait, um, what button's that? I must, oh there we go, back button. Okay. That's kinda cool I guess. Warping between objects is even faster. Very true. It's just, it kills me because I have to spam the C button. Alright, let's do this stuff. Let's do this. Hold down the back button to skip. Alright, get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm so slow! Alright. Poor guy. Poor little guy. He just can't catch a break. I'm at a disadvantage because I have to press the bloody back button. Oh, shit! Ah! Oh. I'm telling you, it is it is quite hard to do with a keyboard because you just do not have that freedom between the back button and the freaking control keys, the uh, arrow keys. If they made it so it's hold, I uh, just press the button to skip cutscenes. It'd be a lot easier. Well, I know I don't stand a chance. That's why I'm running from you. Ah, uh, so that's why it said, um. 
teleporting between barrels is faster. It was helping me out in that section pretty much. But yeah, the premise of the game is you're escaping from this laboratory and um, you need to use your wits and teleporting skills to get out. And unfortunately for myself, I have none. And it looks like I'm about to be screwed here. Oh shit. Alright. <laughs> little bit of Star Wars action there. Trash compactor. This, the little hint said something about my tiny legs. Maybe if I hide in here. Okay, no, nah, guess not. What am I doing? What am I doing? I have no idea. Alrighty. Um, humans will notice when the object is expanding. Fair enough. God, I hope my video isn't just me dying all these times. That would be sad. Alright, so I need to get to the other side. Check the body. And what about this? No, okay. The world is baking. Very helpful tip. Alright, so I need to... Oh, I... Oh, oh my god, I'm an idiot! Anyway. Ah. First rule of thumb, make sure you can teleport to the other side. Okay, what's this? So it looks like water is my weakness. The salinity of this water doesn't seem to agree with you. Okay, so it looks like if I touch water, I cannot teleport for a while. Okay, so, I'm not touching water. I just touch water. Sigh! Okay, I can't teleport there. Checkpoint, alright. Canister incoming. Oh, okay, so I need to hit this and then hit this. Alrighty. I hope there's some humans ahead because I'd really like to show off how the combat works, if you can call it that. I, 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 I understood that puzzle like before it even I got there. Check my So these little these little things are like challenges and they they can be quite hard, so I'm not gonna skip that because I don't want this video being like 10, 15 minutes of me failing everything every time. No humans. Oh that's great. So I can't show up the combat. Well, anyway, I don't know how long this video will go for, so I'll just say it now. Basically, the way combat works is, there's humans, um, you hide in a canister, and then when they walk past, you jump inside of them, mash your buttons, and they explode. And that's why there's so much, so much blood before, was there was just five humans, and I was just chain teleporting between them, exploding them, which is it's a really a lot of fun. Oh, bloody water. Come on, little fella. There you go. No, can't get through there. Alright, we'll go through here then. So what's this? This looks like a little... Ooh. Okay. I have no idea what this means. So obviously I can, um... Pew. Little laser there. Pew. So I don't know what that's about. Rain. Ah, I see. Alright. I understand now. Let's have a look see, see if that gets destroyed. If it doesn't... Yeah, it did. Holy hell. Good thing I didn't jump into that. Alright, this one definitely will not explode. If it does, I'm a monkey's uncle. 
if that's even possible. I'm not sure. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah. I kind of feel like Sam Fisher at the moment, but an alien, very stout alien. Ooh, it's flashing pink. That's not a good sign. It's a little more puzzles. We ah, oh, what? I pressed the C buttons a few times more than I should have. Yay! Puzzles. Actually, the um, the chick talking reminds me a lot of the um spaceship from Aliens, Alien Resurrection. The um android when she plugs in. That's funny. Okay, uh, let's do this. Oh snap! Many checkpoints. Oh. I do not now functioning. <laughs> I do not. I do not do well under pressure. All right. I chose the worst bloody part in this game to do a video. I should have done the tutorial level. Oh crap! <sighs> Stupid malfunctioning thing. All right, just run through. Just run straight through. We could do this. And one of the, the, uh, the cool things about this game is you get, you can level up and you get, um, we don't level up per se, you collect collectibles and, um, they let you, <sighs> they let you spend upgrades so you can make your warping um, quieter so the humans can't hear you or you warp faster, you're tougher, you know, you don't die for one shot because if you get shot at with a gun you die instantly. Now I'm functioning. I think I'm just going to wait for it to go back up. He makes it. It took him three goes but he made it. You know what they say. Third time lucky. Oh good thing I'm not going to put pro or any like pro gamer in the tags or the title because the people who watch this will be severely disappointed. That is a disgusting toilet. That looks like a toilet at my work. <laughs> that looks like someone should shit themselves. That is absolutely foul. What is that? Is that a book? Yeah. It's funny, the people that make this game, they have to sit there and um, design this. I need backup. Sound the alarm. Oh, would you look at that? Guardsmen, they come up through a trap door. That is technology right there, Well, Alright, so we got some humans. This is how combat works. <laughs> That's the extent of combat. And then you can hide, and they, they don't know where you are. Unless they see you. But that's pretty much it. You just you teleport between people and just explode them. Human skill 20. Oh, so much fun, and he's such a cute little alien. He's got blood all over him. He's a fiend. Hello there. Oh, hello. Send someone else, eh? I'm taking that as a cue that um, more humans are going to respawn. No. Teleport here. Disable the alarm. He's so cute. And you can even teleport into the turrets, destroy them. Frags. They actually use the word frags. Oh, this is lonely. Let's get the scientist. Two scientists. It's unfortunate to be seen like this, but I really need your help. What? Oh, there's someone in the that giant sphere. Okay. So as I said at the start of the video, stealth plays a really big part in this, and um, 
I'm, I'm going to assume if I alert the scientists to my presence that they will summon guards. So if I teleport while they're not looking... Ooh, you almost spotted me. Come here, you. Come here. Gotcha. <laughs> that guy was a real jerk. He deserved it. I couldn't agree more. Let's disable the temp field. Just need some help, eh? I couldn't agree more, mis mysterious floating thing. Begin your search for help in the area above. Alrighty. I'll do that. Murderous little alien. I'll tell you what though, it's the simple games that are really enjoyable. Try and knife this bastard. You don't see nothing. No, no alarm for you. Oh no, water! Yes it is. Yes it is. No! I feel, I kind of feel sorry for them. That's a horrible way to die. We've studied the video of the alien down below and have discovered a weakness. We call it fluid energy. It can be made to take any shape and should be able to temporarily disable the abilities of our escapee. It should be able to replicate the conditions required. I will transfer the schematics to everyone shortly, and we can begin installation throughout the facility. Excellent. I have something to look forward to then. All at that, literally like 10 minutes after the aliens escape, they already found a means to stop his teleporting ability, and now they're going to start manufacturing it. Which means probably in the next room is going to appear. Alright. I'm going to make a run for it. Got him. Sneak attack! <laughs> His head just went flying! That's, I love this game. I just love the fact that just exploding people could be so much fun. And the same book is like on every desk. Beep! Beep! Poor guy. Beep! So annoying! Alright. What was that? It's here! Ah, uh, shite. Oh, that, their friend just exploded and they have no idea where he went. But you assume you'd know the, the alien would be able to teleport. I was about to say elephant. Oh, that's not good. It literally feels like you're playing Splinter Cell, but as an alien. Oh, sugar. You see that shit? Obviously, it requires you to be quicker in your fingers, especially playing the computer version, considering that um, having a control would probably be a little bit easier. But it's certainly still playable. Alien with teleporting abilities and still has to take the elevator. How sad is that? Oh, I don't like the look of, look of this level one bit. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to end the video here. 
someone's singing. <laughs> yep. Oh, and the end video here. So, um, that's Whoop. It's 10 bucks on Steam at the moment. I got it, it, it was on sale a couple of days ago. I got it for like $2 less. But, um, yeah. It's a, it's a fantastic indie game. It's really fun to play. Um, I highly recommend it. And, um, I can't really, I don't really have any... The only con I can think about this game is the fact that it's a console port that doesn't support mouse... The mouse at all. Like, in the menus it does. Like, when you log in, you still have to be... You can't hit enter or anything. You have to use the mouse. So, I find that very annoying. But, um, other than that, it's... It's great. I'd give it about an 8 out of 10. And it's, it's quite cheap. So, yeah, um... Thanks for watching guys, if you liked it, give us a like, if you didn't, leave a comment, even if it's to say, you know, you're stupid, I don't mind, all feedback's appreciated, and um, I'll upload another video quite soon, uh, thanks for watching guys.